Hello and welcome to English 101 College Reading and Composition 1, uh, also known as Freshman Comp. Uh, this is the course in which you learn to write a college-level research paper or a, a college-level essay with research aspects. Uh, so, who am I? Uh, I am Nuola Mirilinka, aka Nunu, and I am your friendly teacher guide. Now, in this video, I have two purposes. Uh, the first is to explain why I say I'm your friendly teacher guide, uh, which I have to tell you my son Zeus thinks is pretty lame. Uh, but let me explain why uh, by discussing my pedagogy, my teaching method and philosophy, my beliefs uh, for just a, a little while. Uh, I believe that, yes, I'm the teacher in the course, but I'm also the student and you are also the teacher in the course and also the student. We are collaborators in the learning process. Uh, sometimes you're going to figure out a way to uh, convey information to guide your peers better than I will and you'll share it with me and you'll have insights into our reading materials uh, that I don't have and vice versa. So we are collaborators, we are working together uh, for your success and when I teach, I learn, and when you learn, you teach. Um, that's the way it works in any good classroom, and I hope that's the way it'll work in our classroom. Okay, so my second purpose for this video uh, is to give you an orientation to this Canvas classroom. So we have uh, not that many tabs over here in the left menu, and I want to go over every tab. So we are in Home right now, and for us, Home serves as a bulletin board to our classroom, and on our bulletin board, uh, what do we have? We have the class topic, why are student success rates so low in U.S. schools, and what's the solution or solutions to this problem. Uh, throughout the semester, you'll be writing several short essays about different aspects of this topic, and you'll weave them together at semester's end into a longer essay called a term paper. And if you participate 100%, do really good quality work, don't make easily avoidable errors, follow directions, and demonstrate that you've really paid attention to all class readings, and if you earn a higher grade on the term paper than you did uh, on the shorter essays you wrote, then the term paper grade becomes your class grade. Now, why is that? It's because I believe that you're a better writer at the end of the semester than you are at the beginning uh, or the middle. Uh, so uh, the beginning of the semester we're learning, the middle of the semester we're learning, but at the end of the semester we've got it and we're the best writers we can be. Okay, so that's the reason for that philosophy and an explana uh, explanation of this class topic. Okay, so let's scroll down more. What else do we have on our bulletin board? Uh, we have a link to modules, our class Bible, and every week I will uh, list a link to modules in our bulletin board uh, with the week's work. We have our week one work, our to-do list in modules for August 31st through September 6, 2020, and a list of the assignments you need to have done. Now, uh, modules is our class Bible with all assignments, all class readings, and you can access it below home here, or you can go over to this side of the screen under the to-do list and access it here. Uh, so why do I create this link to modules? Uh, I do so because um, it's just simpler, and I'm a big believer that simple is better, that we feed the information, uh, the coursework we do in bite-sized pieces, so it doesn't seem like a long, overwhelming list. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on Modules, and this link will bring us right to Week 1, whatever it is that we have to do in this week, and it's all listed here. And Modules has to-do list, um, in to-do list date order, all of your work throughout the semester all the way to week 16. So we are really a one-tab classroom, and it's all about modules. All right, uh, below modules, what do we have? We have the syllabus, and uh, the syllabus, again, uh, I'm a big believer in simpler is better, and so I've broken it down into 15 uh, different components. Uh, not one of these big, long, gigantic syllabi, which I'm guilty of having created in the past, and they're hard to wade through. So you'll want to read through this information very carefully, especially instructor and course information that has my office hours, uh, basic information you need to know, uh, the course student learning objectives, what you'll be learning, uh, required text, and I have to tell you, they're all free online, and assignments and gradings, uh, grading, which is important, 
and uh, probably most important DSPNS and ADA rights. Uh, if you have a learning disability or you're autistic and learning disabilities and autism runs in my family, then you'll want to read this. If you are not a DSPNS client, uh, please become one. Uh, because when you are, you have additional time to complete your assignments. Now, I said that people with um, who are autistic or who have learning disabilities, LDs, uh, can have additional time to complete their assignments. And, and it's not because they're not as intelligent as everybody else. They're just wired differently, uniquely, and beautifully, I think, often. I have big insights from my sister who is autistic, um, and she is a perfectionist as autistic people often are, and they, they need more time to uh, complete their assignments, and I get that. That's no, no worries, no problem. Okay, so do click on this information and read it, okay? Um, now I'm going to go into our next item on the syllabus, and that is grades, and grades is where you receive your grade and notes from me, so be sure to click on it. We have Zoom. This is where we have my office hours. Uh, they are noon to 1, 12 to 1, uh, Tuesday and Thursday, and that information is in the instructor and course information link. We also have Canvas tutorials. If you don't understand something uh, in this Canvas classroom, uh, you can look it up in here, or you can come to me in inbox, and we can Zoom together during office hours or make a private Zoom appointment so I can explain uh, whatever um, is causing you trouble or difficulty in Canvas. Now, last but not least, we have Office 365, and Office 365 contains all kinds of nifty apps, uh, such as Word and WordPerfect, and they're free, which is the best part. Okay, I'm going to click back on Home, our bulletin board, and I'm going to come to this image of a group of people working. Um, who's the teacher? Who's the student? You don't know, <laughs> because the teaching and uh, student roles, the role of teacher and student, uh, those change in a classroom. They change back and forth uh, because we're collaborators. And in this classroom, I want to collaborate with you on your learning, and I want you to collaborate with me on my learning. Uh, we will teach and learn from each other. Okay, so uh, let's get started, and let's make this classroom, I hope, um, a peaceful, profitable, enjoyable, joyous place during this pandemic.